How's everybody doing today? And welcome to Lantexia. Today, you're not gonna believe this. I was at a local store, a local market, a few days ago. And I found this. Take a look. It is Mochi from Tropical Fields. It is the same company that I did a video a few days ago with fruit, tropical fruit flavors. If you don't remember, let me refresh your mind. I love this tropical fruit flavors of this Mochi, but I did not know as well. I was really shocked and so excited that I had to buy <laughs> that I had to buy this pack. <laughs> it looks so good and I love tea drinks as well. By looking at the picture, my mouth starts to water. It looks so, this boba looks so good. Let me tell you the three flavors in this bag. The first flavor is Thai tea. The second flavor is milk tea. And the third flavor Watcha. The Thai tea. This one. I've had this drink before, but of course I never had the mochi flavor of this tea. So this is my very first time trying all three flavors in the mochi candy form. I've never had milk tea before, and I've never had matcha drink before. So these two drinks are new to me. I don't even know what they taste like, but it looks so good. The only tea drink I had before, in my experience, is the Thai tea drink. Inside of each mocha, there is a little round ball. It's called boba. That's why this is called boba. Kind of boba candy. And the boba, there's a picture of it. it looks like this. If you've never seen boba before, let me show you.
I'm not sure this flavor is like made out of green tea or not. I guess I have to try it and taste it later. Let me cut this in half and take a look inside. Inside of each boba, I mean each mochi, there's a little round, round ball of the boba. There it is, look at that. I was able to take it out. This is just half of it. The other half is in this one. And then you can kind of see there's some sort of a creamy filling on the inside. smells very creamy. Once again, the baba, it also inside as well. And take a look at the inside cream filling, look at that.
does have a seem to have the more of a creamier flavor than the, the Thai tea which I just had. It is quite delicious. Again, the sweetness is very sweet. Just the right amount of sweet. It has got that chewy texture. It's kind of like eating a little bit like a kind of like a gummy candy, kind of like that. It's chewy. Side. But the coating on the outside 
It's not sugar coated. It's just a flour to put around each mochi so it doesn't stick to the bag. That's all. No flavors at all. Take a look. There we have it, the three flavors. We got the Thai milk flavor, Thai tea, we have the milk tea, and we got the matcha flavor.
I'm thinking. I'm thinking. Maybe try like maybe these two together. And this two together. And this two together. Let's see how that's gonna taste. Or I can mix it around a little bit like maybe like a okay, so it's Thai tea. Maybe Thai tea would be a good one. Would make it like
busted. That's good. That wasn't that good. That's good. It's the first combo, which is the Thai tea and the mango. This combo, to me, tasted better. When you combine the two flavors, from the fruit flavor to the milk tea flavor, or milk tea mochi, the sweetness, it did not increase very much. The sweetness kind of remained the same sweetness. Remained the same level of sweetness. But everything else, the flavor, everything kind of combined, increases a little bit, a little bit of stronger flavor when you combine. It's quite a bit of a unique experience. Let's go ahead and try the last pair. Let's move this away. So we don't get confused. Passion fruit. Smells so good.
my favorite combination is this. The passion fruit with the matcha. These two combo was the best flavor out of the three. Out of the bunch. This come in second place. This is my last place. Sourness, 
So the sour level for this is very low. That's like almost none, no sourness at all. And a fun factor, I would give this level almost in the medium range between low, medium, and extreme. I would give the fun factor for this probably in the medium because you can mix different flavors together instead of fun too. But the sugar level between low, medium, and extreme the sugar level is on the low side, okay? And the sourness level from low, medium to extreme. Almost zero, no sourness. Same thing for this bag. It has a very low level sugar from low, medium to extreme. Also on the low level of sugar. As far as sourness goes for this one, the sourness level is probably going to be on the low side. There's a little bit of a sourness, but not very much from the fruit flavors. But the fun flip, but the fun factor, the fun level for this bag between low, medium, and extreme. I'm going to go ahead and say again, it's going to be in the medium. Mix up the fruits, mix them up together, and try them. It's, it's quite a bit fun. So that's my rating for both of these bags. I just want to say thank you for watching my video today. And thank you for all of you who continue to support my new channel. I hope to continue to make more videos, more fun videos for you to watch. But for now,